think this is actually the first time I have done a decent driving vlog in so long, just because there's been this gas shortage. Anyway, today I wanted to make a five things I hate about red light cameras. As you can see, you, I didn't even realize there was one there. So anyway, number one. I really hate how those cameras they kind of just get you. You don't realize they're there. They put them up without warning. And it's not like a cop where you can see the cop and then, you know, the cop pulls you over. It's more like they just kind of get you and then you get something in the mail. And unlike a cop where, you know, a cop can say, well, hey, you've been nice to me. I'm going to go ahead and let you off with a warning. There is no sympathy from these cameras. They do kind of just get you. And that's really annoying because they're expensive. That brings me up to point number two. They are just ridiculously expensive tickets. For honestly, and then they don't even go on as points on your record or anything, which is the good thing. But it's just kind of like, it's like a warning, but it's an expensive one. My ticket now is $158. And there have been others that have actually been more expensive. Which actually is going to bring me up to point number three is not only are the tickets expensive the company that runs those cameras is actually a private company and at one point they were taking 75% of the price of the tickets and keeping them for themselves so basically it's private police work or contract police work so actually there was a lawsuit about them where like they got sued over that and then so now they're not allowed to run them anymore that's why they're no longer the 75 percent gone where that's only like a quarter of less than a quarter is actually what's kept by the company that brings you up to point number four is this really effective police work when you really think about it because it's contracted it's not really effective in my mind it's not like some cop is coming out of nowhere that's one thing, that's effective in its own right, but this, this is just annoying. It's kind of a nuisance. And then, last but not least, is number five. And number five is actually kind of a safety concern I have with these. It's because if you've ever looked at one close enough, they actually shorten the yellow lights there. It's really annoying because there was actually been a couple different lawsuits about that. Or they shorten the lights, or there was even one where they basically entrap you into one. I saw one on Reddit where a guy, I think the guy even got out of the ticket because it was they put them on school buses and then essentially what they did was the school bus waited until the very second he was going to pass the school bus to flip on the lights. No kids getting off or anything. So, hope you all enjoyed this little rant about why I hate these red light tickets and I know I'm going to get at least a couple of comments from people about well, if you don't want to get a red light ticket, don't run the red lights. Believe me, I'm way ahead of you all. I know where that one red light is now, so I know I won't run that one in the future. Hopefully they don't add any more to the collection. Because I really do not want to get another ticket from those people. It's been a really annoying process. That's just a lot of money that I just simply don't have right now. Anyway, you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you all think of these tickets. Do you think they're effective or do you think they're just the same as I do and they, you think it's entrapment? If you're stopping in for the first time, go ahead and subscribe because I would love to grow this channel. Help me get to 200 subscribers. Anyway, take care. Have a good day.